back with another tutorial. This is the Asian Rock tutorial. This is part three. It's really only part two though, because the first one it was glitched in, bro. I w so I wouldn't have made another one so recently, but or so quickly. I mean, but first of all, the other two got a lot of views um, compared to what my channel normally gets. So thank y'all for that. And also, uh, I just made a hit, bro. So I'm gonna break down this beat that I just made. This might be the best Asian rock beat I've made so far. I don't know. I'll let y'all be the judge of that, I guess. But I'll just play it and then I'll start bringing it down. off with the nylon in harm split from purity this is the like main asian rock sound i would say it's what benji cold starts a lot of his asian beats asian rock beats off and i just put down some simple chords i'm gonna randomize this say bro you gotta watch some asian rock tutorials and just listen to asian rock to get the sound down like get what it sounds like and then once you know what it sounds like you can just freestyle notes and you'll get it down that's what i did i've been making asian rock for a while now so yeah, you just gotta listen to a good amount of it yeah you'll get it down eventually but yeah the second uh, thing I sound grabbed is the nice piano from JV 1080 and it sounds like this It's literally just like um, Yeah, I did a lot of like not a lot, but I did some mixing on this as you can see So I'll just break that down later I'm done breaking down like the melodies and drums. I'll show you all the mix. But the next sound I grabbed is the Zaytoven bell, which Benji Cold uses in a lot of his beats. And I played out this melody. kind of just going down going up and down the scale so yeah the next sound I grabbed is the let me see key aquatic ambience from the void volume 2 serum bank it sounds like this and I just played out like a little pluck pattern kind of Literally just went up the scale like it's like one fourth step, I believe. So, pretty simple. Um, yeah, you just need a sound that kind of has some like echo and carries um, for a while. But, anyways, the next sound I grabbed is PW for President, which is another like Benji Cold sound. Um, like, not like I just by that, I just mean a sound that's used a lot by Benji Cold. Um, but yeah, put down this pattern. This 
this, I since it's like in the background, I kind of wanted it to glitch. But another thing that I actually had on this was two gross beats, so I need to add those back on because I don't have like the full version of FL. So um, the gross beats freaking get taken off whenever I restart my stuff. So. I think it was one half. So fifty percent on the one half speed and fifty percent on the wish. Oh yeah, I forgot I should break this down later, but. Since the sound is like, since it's so noticeable, I thought I would just break it down now at the go speeds. But yeah, this is how it sounds with everything. And I offset this on purpose to kind of emphasize the note, I guess. So yeah, it's a lot of delay. Um, a lot of effects, but. Yeah, the next sound is the cheap lead. This is another sound that Benji Code uses a lot. Sounds like this. Cheap lead just sounds really clean. Uh, yeah, for these leads, you can see I'm basically just keeping it pretty similar, like right here, right here. The only thing I changed was this, and then I added a change to the ending, and I brought this one from a G to an A sharp, so yeah. The next sound is a distorted guitar from XV called the, you see it? Pretty sure I've used this guitar like every Asian rock tutorial, but again, I'm not gonna say the name, you guys can see it, and Sounds like this. So yeah, you can see all I did literally just copy and pasted this original pattern. Brought this one up two, brought this one up one and up or er, Wait, what? Okay, so I brought these up two and brought this up three. Um, and yeah, the first pattern isn't really too complicated either. It's literally just three notes, basically just following the top line. And the only like interesting thing is this. I guess it's like a pluck. I don't know what it's called. I think I've heard it be called a grace note. I'm not sure, but yeah, it kind of just I use this on like all of my leads, it kind of just is, I don't know, it just sounds nice with the guitar, but, and other leads, but anyways, the next sound is a chord sound from Serum, it's from the same bank, because I only have one bank right now, um, yeah, it's called Texaco, and it sounds like this. wanted this to be like a Benji cold eat beat so I added these chords now like thinking about it I probably should have added or I don't know I mean I could have added a tubular bell but it's whatever we just already done uh, the next sound I added was a piano from FM tons it's just the like, first one that pops up it's called crystal EP and it sounds like this <laughs> Is like the type of E piano that Benji Cold would use. I feel like. It just sounds cool. I don't know. I put some reverb on it, but it sounds nice by itself. But anyways, next sound is a lead from Serum called Arturi. It's from the same bank. It sounds like this. <laughs> Did the same thing, added a couple extra notes. 
Yes, pretty simple one up the scale basically. Don't really have to explain that I feel like but yeah. Regular EQ clap from the Benji Cold Kit. Then it gets interesting, the Benji Cold perks rolls. Benji Cold percussion like the snares and shit. You gotta add the rolls. Okay. Also I did the land reverb to some of the sounds to um like carry through I guess, but yeah. Like I guess the chant didn't, okay. Forgot to get the chant on everything. Um, I guess it doesn't need it because I didn't even notice, but I'll do it um, anyways. But yeah, so for the snares and the perk, you just basically place it how you would regularly place it. Like if you listen. It really wouldn't be that interesting it's kind of just a normal bounce without the rolls so you can just get a normal like bounce down and then place I mean just roll what you want to roll but yeah last thing a box it's literally just every like whatever this is every one of those um, every one of these so yeah it sounds like this <laughs> And since there's like no hi hats compared to like a regular beat, regular beat might be like two step is literally two hi hats per two bars. So it's really like, look, like you want to add more, even though I don't need to. I feel like because there's a lot of perks. But anyways, I'll just play through everything, and then the final thing, just a regular like plug crash so this is all the percussion together pay attention to this that's like that's what uh zan gang did on wusa by summer is just like the same snare um yeah it's it's like this and it just sounds nice. You can use it on like glow beats, anything, I guess. Um, yeah. After that, I started adding the 808s. And how I do my 808s on these beats when there's like three 808s, I just put down a regular pattern and then just decide which like 808s get which notes. So, started off with a meds, went to a long zay. So, meds sounds like this. It's like the Yeet 808, like sorry about that and a bunch of other stuff. And then I went to this 808, which I'm pretty sure it's like, I don't know, it's kind of like a, a standard 808 for plug and beat. It's what a lot of people use, like, like Go Yard and stuff. And then after that I went to Zay Spins, or it's a plug spin, so it's a plug 808 mixed with a Spins 808. Um, and then... And then for this one, it's at C6, which is up an octave. And then, yeah, it sounds like this all together, all the drums. So, yeah, just try to have like a bounce between the drums, obviously. That's just regular regular just try to have a good rhythm um obviously get a good rhythm between the clap and the snares and then the hi-hat can fill in uh any open space and then the vox can just be like i don't know with my voxes i normally just keep them in a pattern similar to this and then the 808s pretty similar pattern every time you just add what you think sounds nice because the 808s don't really have to get bounced they're just the bass I guess so yeah last element of the beat 
They're not last element. Last element of the melody is this flute from SRX Studio. It sounds like this. Basically just repeats, but this is what the, I forgot to play the full melody together, so it sounds like this. I'll just slip it like twice. So for the master, uh, it's a bit master from the Benchy Cold Kit. It just takes out the lows at 28 hertz, and soft clipper. It's just straight, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, keep in mind, level your level your stuff before you even mix it. Um, level it here, and then mix it in the in the playlist or in the mixer so what i do every beat i'm also going to stereo separate this a little bit like 11 percent uh what i do when i make a beat is i level it in here and then i add the master preset or just put a master on it and then i start mixing it so yeah for this i just added a fresh air fresh air on the shiny preset a reverb and a delay for this eq cutting out the lows at 200 fresh air on the shiny preset delay and reverb i do the same delay and reverb for basically everything and then for this just same thing basically except the lows are cut at 500 but there's a delay and a fresh air the mix for the for this right. yeah for this is a flanger a flanges I don't really know how to pronounce these but yeah uh, there you can just copy down these settings and then gross speed at 50% on one half speed it's in the momentary momentary one half speed and then there is one on Wish Wash, which is in the f the flanges category, I think. I don't know, yeah. The flanging, flanging, I don't know how to pronounce this so, but yeah. After that, I think this is the, yeah. All right, this one sounds nice, so yeah. It's pretty simple though. I just put a EQ at 200, a fresh air on the shiny, and then a delay and a reverb. I feel like the fresh air is really carrying this boot. I might stereo separate this a bit. Y'all can just hear what that sounds like. Yeah, so. Is there a reverb? A EQ that looks like this. A destructor which some people don't know about, but it's like some, a nice like preamp kind of, it distorts things, but there's a bunch of different presets. Aggro, like distortion, filter, guitar specific, and whatever this says. Um, yeah, there's just some nice presets that you can try out on different stuff and can make any sound into an electric guitar, kind of, but yeah, for this, I thought I 
What? I just found out you can do that. Okay, anyways. Okay, hold on. It's crazy. All right, anyways. Um, I thought I put reverb on it, but I just stereo separated it. It gives the same effect a little bit, but not really. It, they both make it wider, but anyways. I put a EQ just cutting out the lows. And then for this, I literally did nothing except an EQ. I might stereo separate this a little bit too. But what is this? It's just the plug. I didn't do anything. This one kind of already comes sounding like it already comes with like delay and reverb and stuff. So, yeah. Um, just delay or reverb, regular. Um, and whenever I put delay or reverb on my perks, I always cut out the lows. So you can see low cut is all the way up, bass all the way down. And then for the hats, I remember, yeah, delay and fresh air, and I just put the hat lifter preset on it. If you can't tell by this video, y'all should definitely get fresh air. Um, and then what is this? Oh yeah, for flute sound goodizer, I might actually replace that with fresh air. Not gonna lie, uh, that is auto tune to fresh air. I'm just gonna put the preset I've been using. Shine. Sounds good, but anyways, fresh air. Fresh air, reverb, delay, regular stuff that I've had the whole time. And then the final part is adding all this stuff. First thing I added is like an essential for the Benji Gold Beats, the Zool Keys. It's literally in his tag. Next, I added my tag. Avi on the beat. And then I. Avi on the beat. This is random Benji Cold effects from this kit. Next is another essential for like most underground genres, I guess. Benji Cold mainly uses this. And how you get this, um, it's literally just this sound, which is more common, I guess. You just go like this. So, pretty simple. And then also, if the sound is dry, like, this sound came sounding like this. sound cam sounding like this so to get the stuff the sounds that like are used on this are delay reverb and a phaser because the phaser just makes it go like left ear to right ear and then i just added a, um i just added a fresh air because i thought it'd sound better with it so. and then the final thing i added was just uh, another tag Turbo exclusive, bitch. Yeah, it kind of goes well with the beat. In the but anyways, that is basically it. Oh yeah, final thing I did for the outro, I did like a slowdown, and I did kind of like an interlude type thing with this stuff. I am also going to duplicate this. Video.
That's it for the tutorial. Let me know if this helped. Let me know what other tutorials I want. Uh, hopefully this helped y'all make something or at least inspired you to make something. But if it didn't help and you thought this beat was bad, let me know in the comments. And if it did help, let me know too. Basically, just comment on the video and boost the algorithm, you know what I'm saying? So I can uh, get 8,000 subscribers and also subscribe. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of tired. But anyways, that's it for the tutorial, man. And I am renaming the file that I just recorded right now, but I need to end it. All right.